I think we wanted to do a special toast to you, and I think Roberta wanted to do it. So we're going to give your far better half, Roberta Mandel, the microphone, because I think she wanted to uh, tribute you on your birthday. She's, she's going to wing it a little bit less than you did. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, about two and a half years ago, I sent a private email to Joan. Um, I had never done this before. I emailed for sure. I joined uh, Facebook and everything to basically <laughs> monitor my children. Um, but I had seen Joan's face um, everywhere. I mean, you can't Google the gay community without seeing Joan's face and reading everything that she's accomplished. Um, and I was just coming out in my mid-50s, living in suburbia, with my house and pool and a husband at 34 years and my two daughters in their 20s, my dog and my two cats. Um, I had the house, I had the husband, I had wonderful children, I had a wonderful, thank God, career. I had represented Anna Cole Smith's mother on Peel. I was on the Nancy Grace Show and Greta Van Susker. <laughs> I, I should have been doing cartwheels, but there was something missing. I was that person living in that coconut shell that we spoke about. Um, and I was dying to break loose, and I didn't really know how. So I private messaged my girlfriend here, and I said, I, I really am not stalking you. I, I've never done this in my life. Um, I, you had commented on one of my friend's pages, Alan Eisenberg, and I saw her name and I took a chance. And I said, I explained that I was just coming out. Um, none of my friends were gay. I belonged to Deborah for 25 years. I didn't really know, it sounds ludicrous now, but I, I really didn't know gay people. I mean, I knew them peripherally, but I, I didn't have any as friends. And I was like a babe in the woods. And in your 50s, this was a very frightening place to be. Uh, coming out to my daughters in their 20s, not to mention my husband at the time. <laughs> I am no longer married. Um, was difficult. I can't imagine what it was like for all of you to come out to your parents. I did come out to my parents. It was a little one-sided because they're in a mausoleum. So there was no, no objection on their part. Um, and my daughters, I'm so proud of them because they took it beautifully and they've met Joan and they are growing slowly to love her as well. Uh, I don't mean slowly, I mean they just need more interaction. And Joan, who never had children, except for the hairy kind, um, is getting used to um, children as well, somewhat. <laughs> slowly. So I took a chance and Joan responded to my, my cry out for help, because of course she would. Uh, you know Joan, and now I know her quite well, that she would, she would put her heart out there and help somebody who was really a deer in the headlights. Um, so we were, we were emailing on Facebook for quite a while, and then I took the bold, wait, I'm drying them out. <laughs> I, I have argued to the U.S. Supreme Court, and this, this, is, this is a lot more difficult. Um, I um, took the bold step of asking to meet her in person and we went out for, for lunch and the rest is history because I was just looking for a friend and it turned out to be more than I ever could have imagined and you have saved me and I have broken out of that proverbial what is it, coconut? Coconut shell. And this is my first pride seder. And at last I am free. I no longer find
find that anything is missing. And it's for that very reason, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. I'm not getting down on one knee because I would need a crane to pick me up. <laughs> and I'm not going to kiss you because as of this morning, she had 101 temperature. <laughs> and I'm the rider. But, Joan Schaefer, I would like you to be my spouse in good times and bad times for the rest of our lives and to share what other adventures life has in store for us because I know there are many. I waited 50 something years to find you and boy, you know, the, worth was, the wait was worth it because I found, I found a gem and I'm the luckiest woman in the world. Would you do me the honor of becoming I might not get up. <laughs> 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 Huh? Shall be a festive.